Welcome, my name is Robert Martin. I'm the business director for Hexagon SmartNet. It's the largest reference station network in the world with over 4,500 reference stations that we're processing in various hosting centers around the globe. And um, we're doing this since uh, yeah, over 12 years now. And uh, it was always an exciting change in the industry that happens. And uh, we have now rolled out the service into 26 countries where the customer uh, are using the uh, correction service usually in RTCM format as an open standard to run the various um, GNSS applications with RTK precision, which means classical from surveying, but also machine control, agriculture, GIS, and lots of other new things that are coming up at the moment are utilizing this correction service. When I also look a little bit back now, I see that um, yeah, we are a little bit in the industry on the turning point uh, from the GNSS perspective because in the past there was all the new constellation and signals which has uh, evolved on the sky and this is actually also then where we started to deliver this by upgrading the infrastructure we started to deliver this to our customers and also um, we, they utilize it in, in their application for high precision and they wanted to use all the signals they had very powerful GNSS units but now the change or the turning point is actually that also hardware manufacturers have shown up on the market with producing chipsets which only have a few of the, of only require a few of the signals for a, a high precision GNSS app, S application, which is also utilizing RTK corrections. And this kind of um, applications or the challenge to serve them because we we do process full GNSS, but they want to also focus on the on the low cost segment that they serve their customers um, with applications that require a minimal bandwidth on the uh, transmission channel. These kind of new applications are uh, running on with a very focus on low cost, that is low cost for power, low cost for communication, and of course they want to have a tailored data streams with correction data for their needs because they do not want to pay for the bandwidth that they do not require. And with this challenge, actually, we still have the ability with Smarter to tailor also data stream for their needs, and this will be probably the challenge in the future to. Um, adjust the signals and the satellites that they need to their particular configurations that they have also on the chipsets. The interesting thing is now which the applications will come next, which will develop in a new market. We see that a lot of uh, new applications on the software side but also on the hardware side showing up in our networks utilizing the corrections and uh, the precision is also go developing very well there for their application and in order to really leverage the power of their GNSS, they utilize the SmartNet corrections and that's what we are committed to serve also over the next decade. Thank you.